Okay, guys, I just about had it with this. You can see the the valve job has actually got a little bit thin. I'm completely exhausted working on this. It seems like I take a lot out, and then I check the ratio, and it barely changes. So we went from 87.8, which was a winner, to 88.7. Not even one not even one full point and it was a big loser gives you an idea how temperamental this can be right now when you open up the throat you are going to change the short side a little bit in reality the bottom of this bowl could be brought out a lot more and it would probably help but that's changing too many variables at once so let's take a look at the air speeds and the the flows and let's see what we got to be honest, I think I'm about done with this. I uh, kind of got to where I wanted to be. I really don't like the way this looks at this point. It basically, to me, it looks like it has almost no throw. It goes right from the seat on in. I know there are guys that run, uh, don't have nearly that much overhang on the short side. You can give me your opinion on that. I probably could move that quite a bit. But as of right now, we're 1.416 side to side, 1.425 up and down. Now, I'm sure somebody knows way more about valve jobs and bowl ratios than me, and they can explain it better than I can. But uh, as of right now, this is, this is a loser. So let's take a look at it. Okay, this was the last one we did, 87.8. 1.41, 1.4, made them both a little bit bigger. It only averages out to 88.7 percent, unless I goofed up my math. How'd we do as far as flow? Zero, zero, low, 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 lower everywhere. It's a loser. It's a loser everywhere. It doesn't have as good a dynamics. But the airspeeds don't look bad, really. It's kind of interesting. Now, of course, just to make my messy sheet even more complicated. We're comparing these, which is 87.8%, to these, which is our 88.7%. So it's 339 to 328, that's a minus. 318 to 322, it's a plus. 189, 207, came up nicely on the floor. Relatively even, better than this actually, as far as being even. Okay. We went from 306 to 312, winner. 294 to 316, winner. 255 to 284, winner. That looks good. These are all taken at 600 lift. Here we go, 336, 337, barely changed. 325, 334, 256, 245, loser. The airspeeds look quite good. Side to side, not bad. Up and down, not bad. Doesn't flow nearly as much. Now, it was at 600, so it's only down a couple. All right? It works better at the top end than it does at the lower end, which is where I was, my, that's where I was working my airspeeds. Now, I can see where the better airspeeds would be more advantageous at high RPM stuff, no doubt. And remember, I barely touched the short side, but could knock that short side back a lot, and it'll change the dynamics quite a bit. But I don't think that's part of this test. I think I'm going to be done with this for now. I'm sick of putting it on and off the bench. If you guys want me to take this port further, and as far as I'm concerned, it's about minimum thickness uh, going to the uh, intake wall. Let me measure that. Yeah, as of right now, we're only about 138 thousandths right here, which is usable, but it's starting to get thin. All right, guys, another shorty for you guys. I am ahead of the game, though. That way I can get some cleaning done because Whiffy's coming home. I decided I'm going to PRI this, this year. I think I'm going to bring Whiffy with me. I think I might bring a couple friends with me, too. So it might be a party. Let me know if you guys are going to go to PRI. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Just as a reminder, this is the valve we're using. Nothing special. It does have a radius edged. 
All right, it's neck down. I'm pretty sure this is one of my throttle body injection uh, ceramic coated ones. I don't know. Looks like the ceramic coat was taken off at one point. Probably when I cleaned it. Thanks, guys.